Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be solving the lead code question binary tree pruning. All right, so in this question, we're going to be given the root of a binary tree and the goal is to return the same tree where every subtree of the given tree not containing a one has been removed. A subtree of a node, node is node, plus every node that is a descendant of node. Okay, so in simple words, all this is saying is that if there is a subtree, which does not contain the value one, we get to remove it, okay? So let's take a quick example. So over here, we have one, zero, zero, one, okay? So let's just look at the small subtree here. So let's just look at zero, one, right? So this part over here. So this over here, even if there's a zero, its child, it has one in its subtree, right? So then we leave it as it is. But on the other hand, if you look at the left of zero, it has a zero and there's no one further down, right? Its subtree does not have any ones. So in that case, we get rid of it, or in other words, we prune it. And prune, pruning basically means cutting or, or trimming something, right? Okay, so in this case, we get rid of this, and what we end up with is 101 um, as shown over here, okay? So let's just take a look at another example. So at example two over here, we have this, and this subtree over here has all zero, so this gets uh, rid of, and we also get rid of this over here. Okay, so now we're gonna see how can we actually do this. So the question itself, uh, so doing this is actually not too hard, but let's just look at the same example, okay? So we have this uh, tree over here, and the goal is to get rid of all of the subtrees which do not contain a one. So one approach we can take to this is a divide and conquer approach. So let's just, okay, so in simple words, let's say we find a zero, right? So let's say over here, we've got a zero. Now the next task that we need to do is we need to check if there is a one in any of its subtrees, right? So we can traverse through this on both directions and check if there's a one. And if there is a one, we could leave it, right? So that's one approach we can take to that, but that might get a little bit complicated. So for example, in something like this, uh, one of them stays while the other doesn't. So an easier way to look at it is instead of looking from a higher value over here, we go all the way to the bottom, right? So, so let's try to go to the most bottom level that we can. So it would be something over here, for example. So over here, what we want to do is we want to check if this as it is needs to get removed or pruned. And in this case, it would because this over here is a leaf and it does not have any children and it has a value of one. OK, so let's just write those conditions. OK, so uh, sorry, if it, and it does not have a value of one. OK, so if it has a value of zero, if it has no children, then in that case, we're actually going to get rid of it, okay? So we get rid of this over here since it has no children and it does not have a value of one. Now the same way at over here, this over here has a value of zero and it does not have a left child and it does not have a right child. And to be more specific, it does have left and right children, but they both have values of null. So we just consider that it does not have any left or right children. So this also needs to get pruned, okay? Perfect. So how do we actually say that we're getting rid of something? So one way that we can do this, which is pretty simple, is we're gonna change this value to null. And this actually helps us as we go for further above. So let me show you what I mean by that. So since we need to prune this over here and this as well, we're gonna change its values from zero to null, okay? So in that case, now we go up to its root over here and check if we need to prune this as well. And now the condition to do that is going to be the exact same as what we did. So first we check if it's not equal to one. So this over here is zero, so that's one condition. And then we also need to check if it has no children. Now, since we changed its children's values to null, we can do the same thing. So left, uh, so the left child has a value of not, uh, null and the right child also has a value of null. So in that case, we can get to prune this as well. So we do the same step and we make this to null, okay? So now we move on and we don't go to one uh, itself right now. So we go to the right subtree, so this part over here, and we go to the uh, bottom most value there. So we go over here, okay? So at zero over here, uh, what we're going to have, okay, we need to check if we need to prune this and it's the same check, it's equal to zero, it has no children, so this becomes null. Okay. So over here, we have a value of one, right? So that means that we do not prune it. And even though it doesn't have children, it, it is a value of one. 
So this stays as it is. So now we go to the root over here. And over here, we have a value of 1. And other, the other condition is that it has to have no children, but it does have a child, the right child of 1. Okay, so now finally, we go to our head, sorry, um, our root node. And over here, we do the same check. So this is not equal to 0. So that's one condition. And it does have a right child of 1, even though its left child is null. Okay, so in this case, this is what we get rid of. And our final output is going to be this. Okay, so we actually understood, so we were basically going to the lowest level and working ourselves up or working working up from there and going to a higher level. And based on that, we're removing our pruning nodes. But how exactly are we traversing through this? So the traversal that we're using is something called a post-order traversal, okay? So let me just write it down, post-order. And the way it works is you can think of it as you go to the left subtree then you go to the right subtree, and then you go to the root, okay? And this is exactly what we're doing over here. So uh, so a quick example. So you start off at the root, then you go to its left until you reach the ending. So you go to the left over here, then its left over here, and then uh, when you go to its left, it, nothing exists. So you stop over there, okay? So at this point, we're currently... Uh, so we went to its left, and it's empty. Then we go to its right, so its right is also empty. So then we include its root, okay? So then currently we include the root, so let's just call it A. Okay, now that we've had its root, and we've also already visited its left and right children, we need to go to the right of its root, okay? So its root over here is this, and we go to its right subtree. So in its right subtree, so we're currently over here, but before we actually add this value, we check its left subtree, which is empty, and we check its right subtree, which is also empty, so then we add the root itself. So let's just call it B, okay? Uh, and then now we've looked at uh, this root's left subtree, and we've also looked at its right subtree. So now we add this node itself, and let's just call that C, okay? So the same way, right? So we don't actually add the root right now, right? Because currently we have visited the left subtree of the root. So now we need to visit the right subtree of this root over here, okay? Oh, sorry, okay. So the same thing applies. We go to this root over here, now we check if we can go to the left, we can, so we go here. And before adding this, left is empty, right is empty, so then, oh, sorry. Uh, so then we add the root itself, let's call it D, okay? And now finally, we go to the root again. Before adding that, we have to visit its right subtree. So over here we go, and its left is empty, right is empty, so we go to and add the root itself. So let's call that E. And finally, since we've got the left subtree of this root, and the right subtree of this root, we can add the root itself, which let's call that f. Okay, and finally over here, at the root, we've got the, we've accounted for the left subtree, and we've accounted for the right subtree. So now all we need to do is we account for the root itself. And uh, let's just call it one. So this is going to be a post-order traversal, and this is the order that we're going to follow. So in simple words, we're going to do a post-order traversal, and at each node, we're going to check whether or not we have to prune it. Okay, so if we have to prune A and we have to prune B, then in that, and if C is also has a value of 0, then that means C gets pruned as well. But if C over here had a value of 1, even though it doesn't have any children, it does not get pruned, okay? So this is the order that we're working up with, and now we'll just see how this looks like in code. Okay, so let's first start off by actually having our recursive calls, okay? So... First, remember, uh, we're using post-order traversal, so we do left, right, and then root, okay? So first, we're going to go to root.left, and we're going to call this function on itself recursively. So it's called prune tree. so self.prune tree, and the root in this case is going to be root.left, okay? Now, we do the same thing, but for root.right, okay? So we go to the right uh, child, and we call the function on the right child again. Okay, so we have this, okay? Now, in the beginning, what happens is we go to the leftmost node. So we go to the left, left again, and left again. So at this point, we actually end up hitting null. But what happens when we hit null? We don't actually do anything. In that case, we're going to return none. So that's what we need to implement first. So if we do not have a value, right? So if not root, or in other words, if root is equal to none, then in that case, we return none, okay? So that's the first condition, and we're doing, going to do that in the beginning here. Okay, because uh, if we go further down over here, and none.left is not going to exist, right? So yeah, 
Okay, so we have this, and now at the ending, that means that we've got to a root, okay? And over here, we have a simple check, and we're going to check for these conditions over here. So if root is equal to zero, and it has no children, then in that case, we're going to prune it, okay? So let's do the check. So if root dot value is equal to zero, and it does not have a right child, so and not root dot right, and same way we can do and not root dot left. So now that we have this condition, that means that we need to prune this value. So what we're going to do is we'll, uh, we return a value of null. So if you're a little bit confused of why we're returning null, the reason for that is we're giving the value, so root.left, for example, we're giving it a value of none. Okay, so earlier it had a value of zero over here, but now it's going to have a value of none. Okay, so we return none over here. But if this is not the case, then that means that whatever root we're on is either a value of one, or it has a value of zero, but one of its child, uh, its children does have a value of one. So in that case, we, we need to keep it and we do not prune it. So we're gonna return the root itself. So let's submit this. Okay, so quick mistake, um, I forgot to, okay, I spelled it incorrectly. So let's submit it again. Okay, and as you can see, our submission was uh, accepted. So thanks a lot for watching guys and hopefully this video did help you. Thank you.